I know how chapter 3 will end, because the second gameplay trailer showed how every creature works. Let me explain first with the setting. First, we start off in the workplace, which is where we will mend our relationship with Poppy, make the flare guns, and get the gas mask. After that, we walk towards the play care that Poppy is directing us towards. The areas that we will see in the play care which are the toy store, which is a brick and stone building that has Boxy Boo and the sun and moon area that might play into the theory later in the video, and possibly the Owl Lady, the school which no has us with the flare gun in it, meaning that it is soon after we make it in the workstation seems to host Catnap and many other smiling critters, and and also might be where the weird owl lady is, the playhouse, which is the very large carnival area that has the environment of a big McDonald's play place, and is where we get chased by Michael Jackson, and also is where the VHS takes place, the counselor's office which seems to be where we crash, or around where we enter, and also seems to be one of the big main areas for smiling critters and catnap to hang around, and finally, we have home sweet home which is the focus of this video. Home Sweet Home seems to change the toys into monstrous forms as we see with Catnap and Huggy who we know roam around the halls of the home. However, I think that it does this because it was the original place where the kids were kidnapped and put into the toys. Another theory is that Catnap's smoke was originally just sleep smoke but now seems to be a smoke that burns you, like mustard gas, meaning that catnap really sounds like a certain person during World War II. I think that these areas will be unlocked by killing smiling critters. This is because we see late game places that are blocked off by doors that have a sun on them. I believe that we first kill Bobby, then maybe Crafty, then Hoppy, and finally Dog Day, which will unlock the rooms where we need to go and the buildings we need to go. I believe it will start off in the school, then the toy factory, after that the play place, then the town hall from Clash of Clans, and finally the builder's hut. So, now we have the setting, an outdoorsy area that hosts multiple buildings that we build up to. So how is Huggy looking like this and Catnap looking like that? Well I think that the prototype's real plan is to make the toys so powerful that they can kill the humans and take over the world. This is because we hear at the end of the trailer about how they Smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic. This world is theirs now. They are this world is theirs now and they are just smiling meat and plastic. This could mean how in Christian theology there is should and flesh. And the flesh is completely evil. I believe that Catnap and the other toys are entirely flesh. Which is why they are the way they are. This contrasts to Five Nights at Freddy's and makes Poppy Playtime much scarier, because we know there's no saving these evil toys. But that begs the question, how does Poppy and Kissy help us throughout the game? Well, I think they are actually going to betray us and are just doing it because they want more power than Catnap. I mean, think about it, Poppy betrayed us, and we don't know much about Kissy. She could be evil, for all we know, all she did was pull a lever. So, how does this theory play into the ending? Well, if we think about it, the entire play. Care is just one big kid harvesting camp, and we know that these kids were harvested at home. Sweet home. So I think that the brain in these toys goes into flight or fight, and because they are made out of plastic, they will contort their body to be more terrifying. I believe that this is what the prototype wants all of the toys to be, just like Huggy who seems much more dangerous and much more able to take us down than before. I believe that he is going to accomplish this by bringing old toys back to life, or just chasing them like how he did to Catnap, and making them contort like how Huggy has by modifying the toy itself, which would also explain how Huggy dies by Catnap, but is brought back. This would make the end of the chapter being us killing Catnap and most likely revealing that we are a toy as well. What's interesting though is how we kill Catnap. Theory 1 is that the chapter will end in flames. Let me explain. In the gameplay trailer we hear that Catnap's smoke sounds like how fire does, or a type of gas that burns like how I mentioned earlier. Let's presume that Catnap's gas contains the Poppy's special knockout juice, which will get me demonetized, this would mean that his gas would be very flammable. This also goes with the fact that the whole play care is made out of flammable materials. But that raises the question, how are we going to light it on fire? Well, I believe that we will use a modified flare gun that will have a bit more of a kick and that will cause a reaction that kills Catnap and burns the whole place down, leaving us to go down into the weird cave and start finding out the truth with no restrictions. In this route, I doubt that we will get very much character depth with most characters and we'll just try to kill everyone like how we do in Resident Evil 8. Theory 2 is that we will use Theodore's fears to kill Catnap, possibly in a deep sleep. Let's look back at the first gameplay trailer we see us in a very dark room and us jumping a very large gap in a blacked out space, which does not fit with any other areas presented in trailer 2 or trailer 1. I believe that we are in a dream sequence here, either killing Catnap 
or we just got knocked out by him. Which would make sense because, if our goal is to kill this big cat, and we can't change it, then how do we do so, with no firepower pressuring that we can't light it on fire or use chemicals? We would have to take it down by entering its brain. This also backs up the name of the chapter with is deep sleep. In previous chapters, the title hinted at how each character will die. In chapter one, it was tight squeeze, which talked about the vents and killing of Huggy. In chapter two, it was titled fly in a web, and we ran away from mommy while she was trying to enclose us with spider webs. So in chapter three, us fighting or running away from catnap in a dream sequence makes the most sense because it isn't named smoking inferno blazing the world for a reason. So, if you guys like these theories, then leave yours in the comments and say, which one you like best? I love you guys.